recreational water toys that require a constant flow of water. Use a grease pencil to mark the water level of your pool at the skimmer. I'll never remember all that. Check the mark 24 hours later to see if you have a leak. That's a good one. Listen for dripping faucets and running toilets. Fixing a leak can save 300 gallons a month or more. So just listening for leaks. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Listen for dripping faucets and running toilets. That's an amazing list. Hi, Lurley. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Look familiar. Your hair is very different now. Yes, yes, you cut your hair. Exactly. And uh, Nathan West, I've never met you. Yes. Nice to meet you. We were at the last Thirst Project, and you had told me that you, I guess both of you, had spent fifteen grand, fifteen thousand dollars for to build a well in Swaziland. Have you seen the well yet? Well, yes, actually, um, Seth, um, they do something for uh, Thirst Project where they will actually send you a video from where your well was made and the community that you affected. And so there were um, several people in the community that did a dance, like it was unbelievable, a dance and a song. And at the very end, you know, they say, thank you, West family. And we've shown it to our kids. And drinking like, the water, too. And drinking the clear water. Which is water, the most like, important part. Yes, exactly. Because you, you see them go down, and, and the water that they're getting is just like sludge. And then you see when, when the water gets tapped for the first time out of the, the, uh, the well. And it's, it's unbelievable. So tell our, them what our son said. Our, what did your son say? I mean, you see, I saw the video. At the very end, yeah. Thank you, West family. No, what what he said, Noah, our son. And he talks about how he he has um, gotten a well that he dug a well in Africa, basically. Yes. Wow. We have to explain to him. Yes. Well, you didn't actually dig it; they yeah. dug it for us. Right. But but yes. he thinks it's very cool. He goes to school and he tells all his friends. He's so proud that yeah. you know he he could affect change like that. Yeah. Very very cool. What was your first thought the moment you saw that that well tapped? Did you start crying? I, I actually I did actually I um it's something extremely humbling about that experience to see that it's one thing to hear about it you know that things are happening like that around the world that people are yes they're getting wells and things like that are happening it's another thing to to actually see the change happen kind of you know even though it's not in front of our eyes but in a sense like we actually get to see an area that was affected so the next the next part of it is you know to make the journey out to Africa and and be able to be there firsthand to kind of, you know, have the whole experience. That's something that, uh, you know, I'm really excited about. So have you gotten more involved in uh, Thirst Project? Oh, yeah. yeah, any way that we can help, anything that we can do, um, absolutely, we're always on board, you know, financially or, or physically or just, you know, being able to promote it, talk about it with people that we know, like anything. We're, we're trying to take on a challenge right now that we, we like the bigger, the harder challenges on it because we feel like we can do something about it and it's a little more challenging for us to, to get after them. But the bigger, you know, uh, more funded projects, so there's one in particular where this one community, they need $50,000 just to get that well because of, you know, it's so hard to get down there. So. And it's a much bigger community, so we're working on that too. What are you two working on as far as projects go, uh, other than let's just say charities and then other, and then just work? Well, a whole lot of life, to be honest. Um, and then you know we're we're going into development on a few things. We've got some book ideas and some film ideas and music ideas, and it's kind of a nice time right now just to sort of take a pause and be able to say, okay, what are we really passionate about? Where are we going? What do we want? And you know, we've had a lot of time to be able to do that. We're coming up with a lot of really, really cool ideas. And we're getting ready to start with 10 years of marriage too. So there's yeah. this whole thing where we're kind of like little cruise Woo. control right now, yeah. going, you know what? Let's not think about the business so much, but you can't help but be creative, you know? Yeah. It was interesting. Josh Sussman had big hair, and you had actually really long hair. And I was thinking, not only does your hair sort of save water, you don't have to use as much water to wash it. It also saves energy to dry it. Okay, it's right. eco. Tonight in your acceptance speech. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's yes. right. I've gone eco with the hair. Cut my hair off on purpose to help look. save the Love planet. It.